So welcome everybody. Welcome to the Hot Zone podcast. Today is February the 15th, 2024. And our topic for this evening is clearing ancestral patterns. So um, last week we did clearing ancestral, ancestral pains and we've done some clearing. However, um, there are so many things in in our lineage and um, in our past life. So that's why there's more, I would say today is more of a continuation. So just for a recap, last week we talked about, um, we, we cleared or we started to clear male and female um, disconnection. Um, and the body and mind disconnection and also disconnection from nature. Okay, so um, so those are the three main things that we did the clearing on. So today we're more kind of talking in about um, our creative abilities, meaning we're talking about money and um, yeah, mostly we're talking about our relationship with money. Um, I just, like this weekend or this past weekend, I had a, I started a class that really talks about creation, abundance and all that. So one of the things that really um, assisted, like for me, it, it really dawned on me a lot. Like eye-opening moment is when um, like money has been defined as a lot of different things. Some some people define money as energy, and then some people define money as the ability to do. So, and this one, another way, which this way of defining money is something that I really resonated with. So the and money was defined as the ability to organize matter so that we can create an experience for ourselves. So that is what money can do. So for example, if we, if I want to, let's say if I'm hungry, for example, and, and so what money can do is I can just go and get the money to buy some food for myself. So that really is what the organizing matter, meaning that I'm organizing my interaction with the reality that I'm in, in order to um, create the experience that I actually managed to get something for myself to eat. So that really is what money represents. However, the I think that's really the but, is that, um, Money was like we actually have that ability to, to create that for ourselves without money. So what do I mean by that? Um, let me give a, a few examples. Um, I would give examples from different people and then example from my own experience as well as well. So one of the experience that um I really liked is Emilia Benz shared an um, example from her life. So when she was young, she really wanted to have some ice cream. So and and at that time when she was young, I think she's maybe not more than five, maybe maybe four or five now. So really young. So she has no money, and she didn't have any money from her parents. But then she really wanted to have um, some ice cream. And so she thought about it. <clears throat> and what happened was by the time she got home, she found out that her um, there is ice cream waiting for her at home. Because one of her mom's friend actually came by and gave them some ice cream. And so she created that for herself, an experience to have ice cream, even though she has no money and nobody in the family um, is going to buy any ice cream. So, so that's something that we actually 
each of us innately can do with or without money. So, um, so one of my own example is that I, I remember, um, I think it was maybe around December time, I have a pair of boots that just fell apart on me. So I thought, okay, I needed a new pair of boots. So I just have that thought in, in my mind. I just um, held it for a little bit. And, you know, by the time I got home, my brother actually offered me a, uh, a pair of shoes. <laughs> and it, it was a very um, sturdy and good pair of shoes that's good for walking on snow and all that. So I didn't, I didn't even have to go out to buy it. I was offered something that I wanted in my own, own mind. I, I wanted that and I created that reality for myself. So I have that experience. For and um, just today, I actually read on Facebook, there was um, is this um, old gentleman who's 85 years old. So he had, he had this um, lawnmower is the type that you can sit on it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to walk with it. You can actually sit on it and drive it like a car and it will do the, the lawn. So, so he had that. And because he's old, so he does not even have to push the car. He can just sit there and, do, and take care of his lawn. But what happened was, um, you know, COVID happened. And so he went to to some place for uh, um, uh, a stay, maybe about six, seven months. And by the time he got home, somebody has stolen that um, uh, that kind of car lawn mower. So he had this big sign out on his lawn trying to 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 let the um, the people who stole it know that you know he actually wants it back because he really needed that kind of a lawn mower to be able to to sit down and still take care of his own lawn. He he wanted to do that, and so his um his daughter in law just actually asked for permission to take a photo of of the sign. And she posted it on her Facebook. And what happened was somebody saw it and somebody um, actually offered to buy a new lawnmower for him. And, and so he got a lawnmower. He does not have to spend money on it. And he does not even have to walk into the store to buy it. Somebody got it for him and delivered it to him. So that level of creativity is something that each and every one of us have. Now, what happened was at some point in our um, development, now I'm talking about you know, thousands of years ago, <clears throat> the, there was a um, money, this money, uh, I think not, not even the money that we know of now, but there were different other systems of money. Uh, some, I mean, some of the older system of money is they use um, seashells, some so different things, um, but it represents money. So the idea of money was introduced into the human population thousands of years ago. And the idea of money was first introduced so that you know it's easier because if um for example if i know how to cook and uh, but i don't know how to um, <clears throat> um make create to, to work with wood to create a fence or uh, even a chair for myself then i can trade with other people you know i can cook for them and they'll you know make a table or a chair for me so that's how in the olden days people do that is, is they you know they they make a bargain i'll do this for you you do this for me so in order to facilitate this kind of an exchange money was created and the idea of money just grew and grew and grew and 
So that now what happened is it actually, um, we're so used to using money instead of using our own creative power. It's, it's like we forgot that you know, money was um, something that represented a power, a creative power that we actually have ourselves. We forgot that we can actually um, organize reality so that we can create whatever it is that we, we want to have. So, so that's what money is doing nowadays is that it, it made the trans like the exchange so so seamlessly and smoothly that and it's done that for thousands of years that now we actually forgot that we don't actually need money we can create even without money so and that's why now we have a lot of money issues is because we lost that connection to our own creative power so um, and then of course there are other um, <clears throat> things that happened, and so there's a lot of manipulation about you know our relationship with money, and then more and more corruption in our um, as time goes on. But initially, money was just a representation of a an innate creation ability that we each and every one has. So that for me was um, a light bulb moment. Is that, you know what? <laughs> All of the hangups that we have about money issues is because we forgot that we have that ability. We actually place all of our power. We gave it to money. Actually, money is something that what money can do, something that is something that we innately can do for ourselves. So I just want to bring that up because I think it's time we create a better relationship with money because um, money was always meant to facilitate us to create whatever it is that we wanted to experience. It's not a limitation, it's just a tool. And we, we have lost that connection to our own power, to our own creative abilities. That's why we've created all these hangups about you know why and why why we don't earn enough money why we don't get enough money why it's hard to make money why we don't have enough money for xyz <laughs> it's because we place all of that power on money and it's time we start to reclaim that power and to heal all um, well, if not all, at least some of our hang-ups with money. So comments, questions so far? I have a question. Okay. If I have to pay mortgage for 30 years in advance, what should I do to pay this, you know, effortless? How can I create? By the way, I was um I bought lottery ticket and I win four dollars. First time in my life. Four dollars. <laughs> Excellent. That's that's a start. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so I want you to just so you, you asked me what you can do. So I just want you to think of money right now and feel in your body. So everybody does this. Think of money first, 
I think, think of money and then feel how you feel about money. What conversations comes up for you when you think of money? So what conversations come up for you? Nothing. No peace of mind. For me, I think it's a freedom. And uh, if I don't have the, the money part, like where I have to say, okay, I have to make money to pay the mortgage, pay this, pay that. If I don't have to think about it and I see myself, I would be more creative and free and doing other things except just uh, going to work and making money if if i don't have to think about money yeah peace of mind as i said mm -hmm. uh -huh. so which means you don't have peace of mind right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. with money of course not you, you have to think about it where you get this if it's gonna be enough, if you can pay, yeah, that's that's what, the yeah, word. That's, that's what we have been programmed to think. We have to work for it. Mm -hmm. We've been programmed to think that. Even the example thing that you said about that more the 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 man that we lost the. Uh, long more. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they didn't do anything, it wouldn't come by itself. They they did something. So they put the ad in Facebook, and they have put some efforts to to do that to bring it again back. So if we just think about it and do nothing, I don't think it will come out of nowhere. I'm not saying you, you you don't need to do anything about it. I'm just saying that um, we are conditioned to think that, okay, we need money. The only way that we can have money is if we work for it. Yes, I, I do have that uh, in my life before. I never ever thought I said that. I used to think that, what is money? No problem. I know it's going to come and it used to come. And then I don't know what happened after some years. And then I said, oh, my God, I have to face the reality and I got to be practical. And you work and you make money and you pay the bills. And that's how it is, the society. And when you know my son and he always says that, mom, don't think that way. With this world is so corrupt and they are just program you guys and you are just like uh, robots and getting programmed. You have to do that. And then I get angry at him. I said, yes, I don't have a mom like uh, you have. So you don't have to worry about it. So if I have a mom like that, then I would not be worried. Then I will be giving a lecture or the, this a philosophical thinking and the, the wishful thinking saying, no, you shouldn't do this. You should be doing this, this, this. Then he goes, okay, so you work hard. You want to save money. And where are your millions? And then I said, okay, where are your millions? He goes, at least I'm a free. And I nobody is creating, programming me. I have to do this. I have to do this. I am doing what I feel like to do. So I'm still surviving. I said, yeah, I know. Yeah, because so if I, has... for me, yes, I do have that program. Mm -hmm. I would really like to break that 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 you know the the uh, mouse is in in that trap the you know the whatever the cartwheel and going over and over and i i don't like to do that i as a matter of fact it have been almost like two weeks i was thinking i have to do something else i don't want to be where i am right now 
and thank God I do make good money and all those things, whatever it is, but it pays my bills. But I like to change because I'm thinking, what is this? It's rot. Get up, work, make money, spend money. This is not what how I want my life. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want this program what I have. <laughs> I want to be more free. So I, I know that if I don't have that program, I am a more creative, more doing other things. Um, okay. So I'm glad that at least <laughs> some of you realize that it's a program. It is. It, it, it wasn't bothering me almost like a two, three weeks or maybe more. But I think last couple of weeks, I'm thinking more and say, no, this is not who I am. Like a get up and go to work. I'm more than that. This is not what I want. Get up and do your work, 10 hours. And uh, then you get your money and the pay the bills. This is not what I, I really want. This is not me. I am a free person. I like to do other things. So then, then I tell my son, Okay, now your mom is retired. You have to take care of all the responsibilities. He looked at me. He goes, yeah, I told you long back. I said, yeah, we will be on the road. And I know that it is a program. Yeah. So, so noticing is the first, is the first step. Um, and, and then come into, yeah, so it's a program. We have been, so money has been in our consciousness, like humanity's consciousness. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that working for money is bad. No, it's, it's not bad. It's what we've been doing for such a long time. So I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it is not the only way. Mm -hmm. And right now we've been, relying on that for such a long time so we we kind of box ourselves into thinking that that's the only way in and um so we first is to notice that there's this program and then to start to expand our awareness of other ways that we can create money um, <clears throat> another story I want to, to um, share is, so you guys know C. Earthstar? I think sometimes I, I sent her um, videos to, to you, you, some of you too. Oh. So C. Earthstar is a wow. young woman, young as in younger than me, so. A lot of people are younger than me. <laughs> so I think she's in her late twenties or early thirties around there. So you know, relatively young. So she was talking oh, about her um when she woke up and, and remembered that, you know, wow, she's um she's here to do things. She's here to there's a mission of why she came to Earth. She's so she, she woke up that way. She realized her soul's purpose to be here when she was maybe around 13, 14. But at that time, she was um, still programmed from her childhood. So she has to find ways to um, deprogram herself. So... Um, and she left school and and her family, you know, you know did not approve of what she was doing, and leaving school because for them, it's like you go to school, you um, study hard and then you get good education and then you get good jobs. So that's the family way. You know? And because she doesn't mm -hmm. do that, she can't mm -hmm. do that because she knows that the, the education system um, is not working the way she wanted to it's not the experience that she came here for 
So what happened was she spent the next, you know, couple of, of years um, just pretty much surviving on next to nothing. So she has to she has to live in her car or, or her dad's car. So and she, you know, did some odd jobs here and there. And so she was living in a very poor environment until she so but then even at that time she she knows what she's here for so she starts to work on herself starts to release the programs and um and it came to a a point where she finally was able to get herself um to the point where she can start to do the job that she has come here to do. So what happened was at first she got a job because the the getting a job is one way of being able to provide um, for herself because she does not have any skills or any marketable skills at the time. So she got a, a, a and I think it's supermarket or somewhere. So so just um, a menial job and um, but that allowed her to be able to pay for courses so that she can start to learn um, how to do energy healing, how to tap into her own wisdom, her her own um, and get her own guidance from her higher self. And because she didn't grow up with role models who, who has that. So she has to pay somebody else to to learn how to do all that. But you know, long story short, um now she's able to make um so within the span of about you know, I don't know five, six years or maybe a little longer, she was able to get herself to the point where she is making six figure income. So and that's what she needed to do in order to um, buy buy land, because she's one of her job is to actually um, start to anchor in the, the the good energy in into earth. So that's that's part of her job. So that so that's what happened to her. So. And um, yes, she did start out by taking a job while she's learning because she has to pay somebody else. However, once that's once she got her own, um, she learned how to do the things. Then, then she starts to tap into her own um, wisdom and inner knowing. And she was able to create courses online and and all of that, which is like she created ways of making money, um, good money too for herself. And that is from not having any training from her from school or from her her family. There's no role model for her. So that's there are different ways to create wealth and make money it's just that we have them like one of the ways that that's kind of we've been limited to is to you know get a job and make money And we don't quite know how to make money outside of that. And um, we actually have that ability. We can reclaim the ability to create what we actually need instead of just following what is easy. Um, not saying that, you know, having your own business, um, creating your own business is not saying it's easy but that's one of the ways that we can reclaim our own ability to create 
the reality that we want to experience. So comments, questions. No, I, I'm happy. I'm gonna be releasing that the 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 box, the the rat, like you know the mouse trap. So I'm gonna be releasing that. That I am so happy. That's why <laughs> I I got into this. I was just like I don't want to miss the. I didn't even know what we are doing. I said, oh, my Thursday night, uh, the meditation, I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss. So I I finished the meeting fast, and then I was hoping I come home. It was perfect. So it meant to be. So I'm, I'm breaking the barriers today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm. It's a hamster in the hamster wheel. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, hamster wheel, yes. Hamster in the hamster wheel, very, very true. And um, um, so I just want you all to start. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that you know there's anything wrong with you know getting a job. Nothing is wrong with that. That's one way. I just want to you know have um is to remember that, you know, it's, hmm, it's actually, um, we have that ability to create. And money is just one way. So we can actually create without money. And um and to and it starts by a few things is we have to realize how powerful we actually are. To really realize how powerful we actually are and that we can create. We are creators. And then also to start to have a I would say correct understanding with what money represents is really our own creative power. And when we realize what it actually is, then we can take back the power that we have given to money. And when we take back our power from money, then we can start to create the, a better relationship with money. And um, I encourage all of you to like outside of of tonight to you know, actually start to imagine one thing is um, <clears throat> one one more story I want to tell is um, um it's let's see 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 your star also shared this story as well is that she was she was um meditation she was she was in meditation at one time and um all of a sudden she saw this energy knocking on her window and at first because she was meditating so she she didn't want to get um you know distracted but then she finally decided to, you know, open the window and, you know, just find out, you know, what what this what this entity wants. The, and the entity starts to talk to her, and she and the entity said, "Wow, oh, I am money. I am the, the 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 goddess of money, and I've been trying to knock on the 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 doors and windows of these all these different light workers. These light workers just." Just don't want to let me in because in their beliefs they think that they have um, issues with money so they don't want to let let the the, the goddess of money in because you know, they think that if, if you you have money then they in a, a lot of people's experience is you know bad people have money 
because they can use their wealth to um, do things that are, you know, to buy more land, grab more power for themselves. So a lot of these um, so-called light workers don't want to let money in. And she was, the money goddess was telling See, is, I'm so happy that you uh, opened the window and let me in. So this is really kind of an analogy for ourselves is that we, not that we don't allow money in. I, I'm quite sure everyone here would, you know, if we actually have money, the goddess of money knocking, yeah, we will let them in. We will let her in, him or her in. However, a lot of the times we are so distracted by our own issues and also by our own um, beliefs about money that we just make decisions in our lives that one reason or another we actually um, comes to the effect is money can't come to us because of the our beliefs. Our beliefs, like we manifest according to our beliefs and because our beliefs does not support ourselves to be powerful um, does not support ourselves to be self-sufficient so that's why we make choices in our lives that somehow or another ended up um, we keep money away so that's and and the only way to um, start to counter this is to think about like have these conversation with money as though money were a human being could be a goddess if you want though so just um in your own time, just spend some time talking to money and just having conversation um, and get more at your own, get to know your own um, hangups about money and why you are not allowing it to come in. I've had this conversation and I, I <laughs> I got some insights for, for me is I think it's because I um I don't want the responsibility so because I don't want to res be responsible for other people so that's why so that that kind of um is something that I need to transmute and that's part of the reason why I am having um, this relationship, the relationship that I have with money in the current time. So have your own conversations with money as a like real person, or it could be a goddess, you know, any, any kind of personification that you want to, and find out, look within what it is that's making you um, somehow make choices that keep you away from your own abundance. Questions? Comments? That, that's my son. It's, he he thinks all the people with money is bad. <laughs> you you talk to him. It's no. He said. So that's why you always. He's always like. Uh, <laughs> no money. He feel good. He's good person. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it is. What? wrong concept but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. uh, for sure we have insecurity 
never feel. Uh, I I I remember I I heard that it's the scene that uh, some um, Christian uh, say the Father God and uh, like uh, the birds will get food. So you shouldn't worry about money, but anyhow, we will worry the mortgage, yeah, the tuition, the, this, the food, this and that. We'll, we'll worry about that. That's <laughs> very, even I know that the scene, but I never see, I never really accepted that. I just, Anyway, everybody have to work really hard <laughs> to get there. <laughs> to, uh, yep. Yeah. Those those are uh, mind programs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Those are mind programs. Definitely. Is there some? Is there some uh, truth in that saying that uh, money is the root of all evil? Is it? Is there some truth in that? So, um, <clears throat> yeah, think, some think, think for yourself. So each one of you think for yourself, let's say, in this moment. If you find out that you actually have unlimited, you all of a sudden um, got an email and a letter confirming that you just inherited, you know, a, a billion dollars. So I want you to really search in your heart. Are you going to turn into an evil person? I don't know, <laughs> next year, let's say. Like really search your heart. Are you going to turn into a bad person next year? No, I will no. not. No, I, I already know like what I'm going to do because I I imagine a lot of times, okay, if I have this, I'm going to do this, 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 this. I think by within the three or four days, it will be invested properly and help so many people. I have so many people in my list to help them. So I, I know I will not be a bad person. I actually, I'll be a better person because I will be more free and I will be more creative. Yeah, I think if you ask most people um, this question, they would not say that, okay, yeah, I can totally see myself turning into an evil person. You know, maybe if not next year, then the year after, I would, I would definitely flip and be a complete um, you know, bad person. Like, no. Yeah, but the, some sometimes the brainwash did a great job. So no matter how I I try to convince my son, he's he just uh, I remember reading that that story should be uh, true. It's not a cabal or what a, a bad uh, something mm -hmm. really bad. This. Oh, of course, he made money, then gave away everything away. But still, <laughs> my my son, my son doesn't believe that. Oh, yeah, it's a say, mind virus. It's a mind virus. <laughs> it's a it's a mind virus. You you link money with you know being bad. I'm like bad people are bad people, whether they have money or not. But uh, some, some, some truth here, because uh, uh, the pay they have for some people, the work, the hourly wage earner, the salary is so low, and uh, if you, uh, you are, CEO of a company, I remember the old days, the, the salary is much higher, but not to several million dollars, billion dollars, never heard. 
then you get a more and a more extreme. So, so in his mind, my son's mind, people with <laughs> too much money is not good. <laughs> well, um, the good news is when you clean up your beliefs, it helps him. Because we are all connected. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. We need so how we can open the door for money just to talk with the money in our imagination. Um it's funny. Today, I, 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 on the uh, YouTube, I, uh, I just uh, saw that uh, Joe Spencer, what's his name, about uh, winning lottery. <laughs> How to win a lottery. <laughs> you mm -hmm. just have to repeat the, those uh, affirmations. But I don't know. I never tried. <laughs> No, maybe I already opened door for the money because I play lottery so many times and it's just first time I win four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for you. I don't know. Well, I never did. <laughs> um okay. It's remember a few things is actually you can what money actually is. Remember what money actually is. It's the ability to create experiences. So do you agree with what money can do? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then really get why I should say, let us sink in that you are a creator. You can create. No matter the, uh, the circumstances. So you have to reclaim your own power. Right now, um, if I ask you, how powerful do you feel you are? What would you, how, what would you say? Say it again. Right now, how powerful do you believe yourself to be? I don't feel that I'm that powerful. I feel that everything happened to me. Okay. Not like <laughs> I myself do that. It's like... It's happening how it's supposed to be. Okay. So then you have disempowered yourself. Or I should say that you believe that you're not powerful. Right now, that is your reality. You don't believe you're powerful. The truth is you're actually very powerful. And the truth is each one of us we have created every moment in our life. Everything we experience, we've created that. That is my mantra. I always say that I created this. The situation it is, it's my own creation. So if I don't like it, I did it. So let's do better next time. So I, I say that. It's my own creation. I don't give. I don't pinpoint anybody. Whatever it is, it's my own creation. So I take full responsibility of my actions. That's that's a that's a great um, that's a great attitude. Yeah, I like that. That, that is what like when 
when you can get to the point where you really know how powerful you are, then you can start to create better. Baby steps though. So don't don't say, oh I I'm not powerful, so I'm in trouble. No. <laughs> Knowing where you are is a first a good first step. So then work on remembering how powerful you actually are. And um, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about it. I actually want to you know, give ourselves time to do the energy work to start to let go of this because this, this disempowered state that a lot of us are in, it's not something that was done you know, just this lifetime or in 20, 30 years or it's actually been um, perpetuated for many generations, thousands of years. So mm -hmm. it's just that, you know, now that we get to the point where we are conscious that we actually are more powerful than we were told. So we are beginning to reclaim our power. And so we can, we can do that. When you... Um, do not consent to be disempowered, then you stop that flow. Because everything is by consent. Very good. We need that. Yeah. It's very not a very easy to overcome the old uh, concept, the old beliefs. <laughs> know where you are now and no matter where you are no matter how disempowered you think you are that's fine just own it know where you are and you start and you make a choice i i am ready to reclaim my power then you do the work you remind yourself of your own power as often as you can and then you will start to reclaim the, the power for yourself. Because we have um, given our power away for many generations. So we can, you can be the generation to start to reclaim it. When you claim, when you reclaim it, you set an example for everyone around you. So having a powerful human collective and remembering how powerful we are and also beginning to make choices that will allow abundance to come in. And imagine if all the light workers on earth all of a sudden start to let money to come in they start to make you know five figures six figures income imagine how much more powerful and faster the whole humanity is going to rise up so do this for yourself and also for all of humanity Are you guys in? Yes, I'm in. <laughs> okay. So just any other questions before I begin the uh, release work of clearing work? No? Okay. 